Hi, I'm Kevin Klein of the Winnipeg Sun. We found out early this morning that Canada Post has decided to once again uh, go on strike just before the busiest time of the year. So much money is spent and invested in so many companies depend on this season that it uh, creates a problem for business. Now, for most of us in our day-to-day -day lives, it doesn't really cause that much of an impact because when we order online, they have their own shipping services. They don't, a lot of them don't use Canada. Canada Post. And, and I guess now we know why, uh, because it is, uh, of course, it's risky to use Canada Post. It's not it's not sustainable. You don't know when something's going to happen. So we uh, we were talking to a couple of business people last week, small business people here in Winnipeg, about the pending strike, which, as I said, is now on. And they were very concerned because being able to ship products uh, in and around the city and get their goods to customers is the difference between hiring more staff at this time of year, giving more jobs, employing more Winnipeggers, than actually cutting back on staff and hoping to weather the storm. And that's just not fair to a lot of small businesses. So we are very fortunate to have with us right now, um, Alok, who is uh, here to talk about, he's from Trexity, uh, an organization, a company that he developed, that he started, that has the answer for small business and for you and I when it comes to purchasing goods locally so that we don't have to depend on Canada Post. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. No, of course. Thanks for having me, Kevin. And I, I'll be honest, because only you and I know this, but I think it's just funny. I, we've tried to do this interview a couple of times because of my tech genius. So, And I know you're in the tech world and you're a very innovative <laughs> guy, so probably not a good start. My apologies, but thanks for hanging in with us. Um, why don't no, you tell course. us about Trexity and uh, what's happening with you today? Yeah, no, for sure. Um, so, so listen, Trexity is a is a last mile logistics technology platform, right? So we built this piece of technology that allows all small to medium sized businesses across Canada have the opportunity to own their customers' doorsteps in a very intimate way, and ultimately outperform Amazon on local delivery, right? We all know how great of a job they do. And so for me and my co-founders to build this, the premise here was, how can we level the playing field, right? How can we let the favorite store on the favorite street of your favorite neighborhood in Winnipeg get those goods to out as fast as they could have ever imagined? And, and that's exactly what we do. So- when you when you put this concept together, did you uh, did you have in mind being a partner with these organizations, or was this just a, a concept of delivery that you had? I, I kind of wonder like where did it, where did it, where's the genesis of this? Yeah, so the the story here is that you know I always wondered you know I, I love supporting local. My my wife and I and my co-founders we all love to support local and shop from your your favorite local store, and we were finding that they they had a all of the other big box stores had a very unfair advantage, right? And so we wanted to say, how can we change the psycho psychological buying habits of their customers, right? These local merchants. How can we give the confidence back to these residents of Winnipeg that you can go to your favorite store and get it faster than Amazon, right? And so the goal here for us was to, like I said, level the playing field. And we very quickly identified that there was a gap in the market, right? There, was a, there wasn't a way for us to get high-end groceries, subscription boxes, meal kits, you know, retail of all types, um, alcohol and pharmaceutical. These are the verticals, Kevin, in which we have helped all of these local merchants explode in Canada. And um, and for us, that's 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 what a true partnership is. It's, it's very it's such an innovative idea. And it, it, it's interesting that someone hadn't done it sooner. So you really recognize, as you said, the gap, but I think more so the need, uh, because I mean, let's face it. Yes, there's lots of major big box stores in Canada and corporations, but the backbone of our economy and, and especially in many municipalities and small towns uh, and, and, you know, with cities the size of Winnipeg is local business. I mean, that's who sponsors the local sports teams. That's who gets involved, uh, you know, with their staff. And, and that's who really creates a quality of life uh, that works for everybody. So I, I think that that's fantastic. Now, let me ask you, though, uh, what kind of restrictions would be in place for something like this? Yeah, it's it's actually um, it's pretty simple, and I, I love that you said this earlier. You said you said the word that's kind of magical for us internally here, and that's partners, right? All of these merchants across Canada and Winnipeg, these are our partners, and we're doing the most Canadian thing we can do right now, and, and that is to step up and help one another in times of need, 
right? And of course you said it earlier, but here we go again with another strike at the most important time of the year, right? And a lot of these merchants um, are now being restricted. Like you said, like what? there's no restrictions with Trexity, right? And there's no cost to enter or use the platform. It takes a couple of minutes to sign up. And then another few minutes later, you're on the road doing deliveries, right? We're, we're 80 to 90% cheaper than any other um, logistics provider out there, right? It's a flat fee. And we designed it this way because we understand how many hats a local business owner has to wear. We know about how many different things that they have on their mind on a daily basis. Now, having this looming Canada post strike over their heads in an economy that's, I guess I can say, slowly starting to bounce back is uh, is not fair. And so what we're doing to step up is to let all of these local businesses across Winnipeg know that we're here to help. And we've been working with Winnipeg for, for over four years now. We've been in existence for five. And four of those, we've, we've had the, the massive opportunity of working with, with incredible merchants in Winnipeg, like True North and the Winnipeg Jets, right? And getting all those whiteout jerseys out in, in time for playoffs. And, and merchants like Games Night and Denali and 204 Meal Prep. Like the, this is the fabric of our community, like you said. These are the logos that are on the back of the soccer shirts that our kids wear on the field when they're playing soccer, right? And so if we don't step up to help uplift these local economies and we continue to depend on legacy carriers like Canada Post that continue to fail us, what are we doing, right? And so, like I said, being a Canadian is stepping up and helping, and that's what we're here for. That's fantastic. I, and I had no idea and, and and how bad for me, right? I had no idea that you were already in process. You were already in business here in Winnipeg. You're delivering Jets jerseys. I mean, we got the Grey Cup this Sunday. We should get a hold of Wade Miller and you should be delivering bomber jerseys. I don't know if Wade's watching. I know he's in Vancouver, but maybe maybe I'll let one of our sports reporters that's there know that, hey, Wade needs to watch this uh, video online because we got to get some bombers jerseys out before uh, before Sunday's big game when we win. I mean, we're going to win. Uh, hopefully, it hopefully it doesn't jinx it. But uh, and Denali, I I love Denali. It's it, it is such a great local business. You know the the guys who run it, uh, just fantastic gentlemen. The staff there, always friendly, always helpful. These are the businesses, as you alluded to, we have to support and and we have to you know help. Uh, you know, have some sustainability in this marketplace because we don't want to lose those kind of businesses. And and, and again, I, quickly, I, I want to go back to, you, you saw companies like Walmart and the grocery stores now, they all jumped on the delivery chain. And that is something that as a small business owner myself, is just not affordable for us. You know, that it's not affordable for a small business to have that delivery mechanism in-house. So you really are giving a, a, an opportunity for growth in your partnership with these businesses. But I got to say this, I started the program by, by telling you about my inept, you know, tech skills. Um, how hard is it for a small business to get on? Because they don't have a lot of time. And, uh, you yeah. know, some of them aren't as tech savvy. Like we're not all of us are tech savvy. Yeah. And, and I took that into mind when we started designing this back in 2019. And like I said, uh, you know, mom and pops, the, the SMBs of Canada, they wear a lot of hats. And so we had to design this in a way where they could continue to focus on their business and not have to worry about trying to learn a new piece of technology, uh, that being a logistics platform. And so early days in 2019, when my co-founders and I were creating this, we brought on a very integral part of our team. And that was our, our QA person, the person that tests the platform for us. And I brought my eight-year-old daughter in. And she sat at my desk. And I said to my daughter, Aria, I said, Aria, you got to go onto daddy's laptop and create a delivery. And I said to myself, if she can go in and create a delivery, then this will work. And she went in and she did it within a little under a minute. And she goes, daddy, the delivery is ready to go. And I looked at her and I looked at the screen and I said, okay, we've got something here. And so we've designed it in a way that is very low barrier to entry. And it's very simple to use because I understand, listen, my parents immigrated from India to Canada. I was born here. I'm first generation Canadian, but I watched them as small business owners and it was hard. You know, it's still hard. Believe it or not, I think it's harder it is now than it was back then. There's so many little pieces of the technology to learn. Business and commerce has changed in such a dramatic way that I didn't want this to be a burden. And so, like you said, um, you know, we needed to level the playing field. So low barrier to entry, very simple to use. But here's the beauty of it, Kevin. When you ship something with, you know, the people who are on strike, you know, and you send it with them, it'll go out and it'll get to your customers in a couple of days, right? It'll go to a warehouse, they sort it out. And the beauty of Trexity is the same day that we pick it up is the same day that we drop it off. 
right? So if you're a cust if you're a merchant, you get a you get an order in on a Monday and you're ready to deliver it on Tuesday or Wednesday, you have the peace of mind knowing that the minute you put it into Trexty and schedule that delivery, it is delivered that day. And your customers can follow it just like an Uber Eats order, right? In real time to the exact minute that it's going to show up at their doorstep. And so to me, this isn't just level the playing field. This is now giving these merchants an advantage, an advantage that didn't exist for local delivery. And uh, and that's what we're very proud of. And we just want everybody to know, I don't want merchants and businesses across Winnipeg to feel uh, low and gloomy that what are we going to do? We're, we're in trouble. We don't know what to do anymore. We can't deliver. They're on strike. And it's a sense of uncertainty. And they did this last year and they did it the year before. And it's not fair to Canadian business. And so using Trexty will allow you to do that, right? Set it up, get the delivery out, and it's gone that day. And the beauty of this, and I don't think I shared this with you, Kevin, this is a little bit of the secret, is we deliver all the way up until December 24th at 7 p.m., okay? So you know how a lot of these legacy carriers will say, get those deliveries in by December 12th if you want to make sure they get there before Christmas. I looked at that years ago and I said, we're being failed here. This is a failure, right? How do we fix this? And so we stepped up and said, okay, we'll do one better. End of day, December 24th, we'll get it out. And we want these merchants to earn as much money as possible up until the point where they can't anymore. Because we already know this, but a lot of these small businesses and a lot of them have been reaching out to me personally uh, over the last 48 hours, but many of them use these two months to make a lot of revenue to carry them over the slow period of January and February. Hmm. And a lot of that is being stripped away from them because of this strike. And I can't allow that to happen. And so it's my job to step up and let them all know we're here to help. Don't lose out on that revenue. Don't lose out on that opportunity cost. Come to Trexity and let's make it happen. It's, it's it's just incredible to hear this story. And and I mean, you're basically a logistics company for every small business, uh, especially within the city of Winnipeg. I mean, you're delivering Jets jerseys. We know uh, their their attention to detail and their customer service is exceptional. Uh, True North has done a fantastic job taking care of their customer. They know who they are and they know how to take care of them. Um, and, you know, you seem to be doing offering that same service to any small business here in Winnipeg, you'll, you'll make sure that you're offering that customer service to their customers so that they have some loyalty to their brands and their store. And it just makes it easier for them, as you said, to make more money during this time that will help them through the slower days of January, February, and March. But here's the deal. It, it, the strike they're on strike today how long does it yeah. take i mean if a small business is sitting there going this is great i'd like to be a part of it i think i can handle the tech stuff i'll put aside an hour to sign up I, maybe they need an hour i don't know maybe they need less you can tell me and then how long do they have to wait a week uh, before the service gets started a couple of days how long is that i'm going to tell you we've got merchants i'm looking at the winnipeg dashboard right now we got cranked energy we've got hey mad got two pro meal prep curry box these merchants they sign up on monday they're delivering on Monday. They did it within minutes. And a couple of minutes later, they were on the road doing deliveries. Like literally this has been designed so that there is no integration. You can just go in, put in your information, put in the deliveries that you want done and out of mind, out of sight, we take care of the rest. Our goal is to make these merchants look like rock stars. We hide behind, the tracking has their logo on it. They're the ones in the shining light. We hide in the background and we make them look like absolute geniuses. And that's the goal, right? The goal is to level them up, right? And then the best part is, and I said this earlier, but it starts out as compound interest. They'll sign up, they'll do a couple of deliveries. Then they start to tell their customers, hey, we offer same day local delivery or we'll get it out the same day we deliver it, that it goes out. And now we change those buying habits and it starts to grow and they do more and more and more to the point where they said, well, we don't know if we can do delivery. And then they sign up and then months later, they're doing hundreds of deliveries a week, right? Because their customers now um, become accustomed to it. They know that they can go to their favorite store and get it right away. And mm -hmm. that is why we do it. I, I, I want to make sure I heard that correct. So somebody could go on now, take uh, 15 minutes to sign up, get their logo in there, do all that, and they can be delivering packages this afternoon or later this evening? 100%. And, and, I, and I just noticed this as well. It just pinged live on our dashboard right now. And I know it's early morning in Winnipeg. We got True North Shop Jet Skier on the road in Winnipeg right now with Trek City out for delivery. Like, this is the power. Like, this is it.
Wow, uh, this is incredible. So I want to I want to leave a couple of minutes here because I know businesses are, or business owners watching this uh, are probably want to get going and want me to shut up. So uh, <laughs> how how do they go online? Where do they go? Yeah. What do they have to do today so that they can forget about Canada Post forever? Uh, also, real quickly, what kind of how do they have to package it? Because I know Canada Post, there's box. You have to have certain boxing. You have to have the, you want to have your packing material in there. There's a lot of work to that. So so how what's the packing that the restrictions that you have what's the requirements if you will and uh and then tell us how to do that yeah sure um it's simple go to trexity t-r-e-x-i-t-y dot com uh you can create a merchant account like i said it literally takes minutes to do that um if you need help you sign up and you want some assistance you can definitely reach out to our support team directly from the website we have a fantastic merchant success team that will help a lot of these merchants that are strapped for time we'll help you get set up that's what we're here for um and once again when you get things ready to go up for delivery don't use bubble wrap. Don't use tons of tape. Save that cardboard for something else, right? Let's keep this as clean and as environmentally friendly as possible. Put it in a bag, just like you would as if someone was in your store shopping. Hand that to the courier. We'll get it to the customer as if they were in your store. That's how simple it is, right? We want to create that in-store customer experience right to the customer's doorsteps. And that's why we say, Kevin, we allow them to basically own their customer's doorsteps in a very intimate way, right? Not their product in someone else's box with someone else's logo. That, that is a disjointed experience. That is not what Canadians do. Yeah, that, I mean, in, in my mind right away as a, a marketing person, uh, the first thing that comes to my mind is, you know, buy some, uh, you know, reusable bags, put your logo on them and deliver them in that. You're uh, getting some advertising. People will see them when they yeah. go to their neighbor's doorstep and it reminds the customer to buy from you again. Uh, what a wonderful and innovative concept you have created. Uh, this Thank is you. fantastic. I'm I'm proud to uh, to have had the opportunity to speak with you, and the the fact that you're in Winnipeg just makes me, uh, you know, much more proud. Uh, I, I I I'm just uh, very grateful that you're doing this for small business because I I know how important small businesses are to our community, and far too often they get uh, they get the rough end of the deal because they're not a large corporation. So thank you very much again. What the website is trexity.com. You can sign up now. You could take you in 15 minutes. You're signed up and you're delivering packages within an hour. I, I should have I should have made a promo code called Kevin for the win. And, and, and then I would have been able to shout you out at every merchant sign up. But no, Kevin, thank you uh, so much for having me. It was, it was an honor to, to hang out and chat with you. Thank you very much for your time and for your patience uh, with my technical abilities. <laughs> it's all good, man.